All right, you guys, so check out how to inflate text in a box here on Blender. So this was inspired from Internet Girl, and it seems like she did figure out this the best way possible. And I did it a little bit more different, so let's take a look. All right, so let's open up Blender, let's go to File, and I'm gonna import an SVG file. In my situation, I get like a custom text, and I'm gonna go and select it, click on Import. So the thing is like, I'm gonna make this with custom text, I won't do it directly with the font. So basically this could be like only a process video. So from here, what I can do is you can see the letters are separate. I'm gonna select all of it, right click, select join. And I'm gonna go to the colors and change it to white. And I'm gonna select it, right click on it. And let's go to set origin, geometry to origin. And from here, we're gonna need to scale it up first. So I'm gonna go here to the object so you can see the scale X, Y, Z, right now it's on 20. And in order to make it work, you're gonna need to like scale it up quite a bit. So here first, I'm gonna show you the size, how big it's gonna be. So I'm gonna press the letter S and I'm gonna scale it up. And check this out, if I go here to the X, Y, Z, you can see we got like 72 by 72 by 72. So this should be like a D value if you wanna achieve the same exact inflation that I did. All right, so from here, we're gonna go to the data and we're gonna extrude it. So let's go to the geometry, open it up. And here we got the extrude, let's go and increase it. So this is gonna be the height of it. Looking great. I'm also gonna right click on it. Let's go to convert to, and I'm gonna select the mesh. Now we're gonna go here to the modifier and I'm gonna go with a remesh. Search for remesh, enter. And we're gonna go here to the smooth, type into the octree depth nine. And make sure to uncheck remove disconnected. So this way it's gonna show you all the letters. And I'm also gonna check smooth shading. After that, you can go and click on apply, very important. So this is gonna look something like this. Now we're gonna to need to create that box. So first I'm gonna bring this text up and I'm gonna go down, press shift plus A. Let's go to mesh, select the plane. And I'm gonna zoom in, let's go to the object here, and I'm gonna change up the scale X and the Y. So let's go here, I'm gonna go with 1080p. So this is gonna be like 1920 by 1080. I'm gonna press the letter S and scale it up. And I'm also gonna bring down the text, I'm scale this down a little bit more, and I'm gonna need to arrange it. So I'm gonna go and click on the Z here. So it's gonna view it from the top. I'm also gonna go and select the text and I'm gonna stretch it. So I'm gonna go here, select scale, and I'm gonna bring this up, so it's gonna stretch it a little bit more. All right, so make sure that you selected the plane, and I'm gonna bring the plane down somewhere here. I'm gonna also go and select the minus Y. The main point is to view it perfectly from the side. And we're gonna go here to object mode, switch it to edit mode, and press the letter E. Let's go here and press the letter E here. See that? And I'm gonna bring this up, and it's gonna extrude the plane. I'm gonna extrude it all the way at this point. And from here, I'm gonna go and select the faces. Face, I'm gonna click somewhere here so you can see it. I'm gonna click on this one, so it's gonna highlight the top face. Let's rotate this also, so we're gonna see the bottom side. I'm gonna press and hold shift and select also the bottom part. So now you can see we got like both parts selected. Let's go here, hit X and click on faces. So it's gonna remove the faces. Let's go back to object mode. And on this one, we're gonna need to add a modifier. Let's go to the modifier and let's go add modifier, type in solidify, hit enter. And here I'm gonna go to the thickness, decrease the thickness. So make it thick until you're gonna see the walls a little bit more thick. This is pretty good. Let's go and also apply this, click on apply. Now I'm gonna go and select the box, press control A, click on scale, select the text, press control A, click on scale. I'm also gonna right click on the text, select shade smooth. Now I'm gonna go and select the box and we're gonna transform this box into collision object. Click on collision. Now let's go and select the text. Let's go back to physics and click on cloth. So now you can see all the settings. Now before applying any kind of settings, we're gonna need to go here to the timeline and make sure to bring this down to zero. So now we can apply the cloth settings pretty easily otherwise it's gonna lag. So let's go to the quality steps. I'm gonna increase this to eight and I'm gonna scroll down to the pressure. Let's go and activate the pressure, increase the pressure to four, activate the custom volume, target volume is gonna be three, pressure scale is gonna be two. I'm gonna open up the cache, 
scroll down let's go to the end so after we are done we're gonna need to bake this aka is gonna pre-render it and it's gonna pre-render right now 250 frames now that's a lot so i'm gonna go and decrease it all the way down for example i'm gonna hit 10 so it's gonna render only 10 frames now this 10 frames is going to be enough to inflate the text now let's scroll down more let's go to the field weight open it up scroll down let's go to the gravity decrease it to zero you also got here the collision open it up we're going to need to increase the quality to three i also going to activate the self collisions check it and i'm going to scroll to the bake here click on the bake also before bake it make sure to save the file and here we're going to need to render it as you can see right here it's rendering it at zero percent and wait till it's finished all right so it's done baking and let's see the results i'm going to hit play and this is how it looks we also can add another modifier let's go to the modifier and we're going to go with subdivision surface and this is going to smoothen out the surface even more so this is how you inflate text in a box here in blender thanks for watching